You know, the only times when it wasn't easy is when I had to go to the bathroom. And they, in the olden days, they, they had them hooked with hook and eyes. They didn't have a zipper. So somebody would have to go with me and, you know, do all that. Um, I never fought weight, so I didn't have to go up and down. Linda had five costumes because she was a star and she had a right to them. And, and she looked amazing in them. She was just, and I got to wear the cape twice. That cape, working with that cape was, it was gorgeous. I wonder what ever happened to it. Somebody said they, they um, that one of those comic shows, they, they got rid of it, they auctioned it off. Some of our costumes too is, why would Warner Brothers do that? I've always wondered. Linda got a costume, I didn't. I got boots, bracelets, and the headband. But it's the costume that, you know, that's the thing, but they weren't gonna. They sold them for like, I think they, they knew mine from hers because hers had a little string that pulled it and mine didn't. I mean, they went for, I think hers went for like 10 grand. This is back many years ago. And so now they they jump forward a little, they're gonna make a new Wonder Woman TV series. They changed the costume. I thought the costume was cool. It just didn't, I mean, this girl got to wear something. She had pants on and boots on and, and I mean, I didn't think it was so bad, but everybody, I think, I think when you have that iconic of a costume, they don't want it changed. You know, the red, white, and blue, and the, so I miss those days. There's days when, you know, I'll have one of those days when I lay on my bed and I think about all the things I've done, and God, it gets me crazy because I've done so much, and think about something my dad taught me was one day at a time. You do this stunt and then you do that stunt. Yeah. But then you go to unfold them all. And, and, but horse work was probably my number one when I first started doing really pretty incredible stuff on a horse. But Wonder Woman's probably my call of fame. I don't know, maybe Romancing the Stone with the mudslide. I don't think anybody hasn't seen that movie that doesn't say, was that the hardest thing? It was. You had a wardrobe malfunction? A Wonder Woman wardrobe malfunction. I had to hit a mini tramp, go over a hedge. <clears throat> I had to, um, um, I, they call it bulldog take down a stunt girl named Donna Garrett. And she was supposed to be Fiast, the, the German spy girl, and I was saving the day. And, and just as I went up and I had committed myself into it, this came down. And this was on its way down. And now I'm like, I can't go back to here because I'm going to fall to the concrete. So I, when I completely finished it, these were here. She's trying to put my clothes back on me as we're fighting, rolling down the hill. And the cameraman, you know it's somewhere, because the cameraman never quit, quit filming it. And there were just little things. Now, we learned from that how to, how to fix that problem. The wardrobe people fixed it. We just took, you know, um, the elastic stuff that you put in. They used that and, you know, makeup, made the makeup match. Because really, I was way far away and sewed it in. I don't know what they would do today because girls don't wear nylons anymore. We wore, you know, the pantyhose, the high up pantyhose. And it was just more to keep, you know, I don't know who you are, how good a shape you're in. Right here, you're always a little bit more, and would it be flabby or, or soft? So maybe if they do really make a Wonder Woman again, She'll get her nylons.